All right, testing, testing, we recording. Oh yeah, okay, so we're on. Hey, so what's going on guys? Jason Lore here with Jason Lore Photography and Film. So uh, today we're gonna be watching the um, screenwriters, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> screenwriters awards uh, recording uh, from, uh, from the Las Vegas International Film and Screenwriting Festival. So uh, this was actually a live streaming on November 13th at 4 p.m. but you know I actually missed it because um uh I ended up yeah I had things to do that day but uh thankfully uh both uh Anne and uh Warren Hall who are the film directors of the uh Las Vegas International Film and Screenwriting Festival uh they posted up on their website for the uh filmmakers and screenwriters who participated in this year's uh festival to watch in case they did miss it but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just hit play and see uh, how uh, it turned out. Um, it's quite a long video from the looks of it, 21 minutes and 45 seconds. Uh, I think it's understandable because uh, they have a lot of different categories uh, at their film festivals uh, as far as like genre-wise for screenwriters and genre-wise for the filmmakers. So uh, this one is specifically only for the the screenwriters. So... Filmmakers Awards uh, from the looks of it is uh, November 14th. So uh, tonight we're going to be uh, taking a look at the uh, video for the Screenwriter Awards. So let's go ahead and get this started. Oh, yeah. And before we do, uh, so I did enter three of my screenplays to this festival. Uh, that's uh, Forever Young, my uh, romantic uh, screenplay. And then uh, also uh, two of my other short screenplays, uh, the horror short Sleep and the uh, comedy, action comedy uh, Henching. So, you know, fingers crossed. Uh, let's see, uh, you know, they did get selected for the festival. So let's see if, uh, you know, how, how it goes. So it's anything goes. So let's, let's go ahead and get started here. It's a bummer that this wasn't a live event this year, but, you know, due to, you know, COVID, it's uh, been very hard for a lot of festivals out there. So, um, you know, just really happy that, you know, Anne and Warren, as well as like the rest of their, uh, their team, were able to still, you know, keep the show rolling this year, even though it's through online. But, you know, um, you know definitely big props to them for you know, giving us filmmakers a chance to, um, you know, to showcase our work, even during these hard times. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, shoot. Oh, yeah. Let's, yeah, let's skip ahead here because it looks like it starts somewhere later on. Okay, there we go. Okay, I don't want to skip too far. So, okay. Uh, oh, so here's Annette. And that should be Warren. Uh, I got to meet them last year, too, actually, at the 2019 festival. Okay, you guys got us? Huh. Hello? Uh, really awesome people. Very awesome. Also filmmakers themselves. So definitely, uh, yeah, you can definitely relate to them. Do you okay. guys have us? Yes, we do. Awesome view. <laughs> well, must be their first time doing uh, well, live streaming. Well, at least streaming. they can hear us. So we're going to roll. Oh, perfect. Okay, we got the glitch solved. Uh, COVID oh, shut glitch. down our video for just a minute. And uh, uh, we'll roll <laughs> with this right now. Okay, good. Trouble shot. So they can see us? They can, they, can, they can see our screen right there. Screenwriter Awards. So give me a thumbs up if you have the Screenwriter Awards placard up on the screen. Well, I'll just they, wait for anybody. But they should see us. Got you guys on the screen, though. But thumbs up anyway. All, so. <laughs> All right. Oh, perfect. Okay. Hey, everyone again. Hi. Sorry. We're, we're going to roll this <laughs> new world. So uh, as we mentioned in the uh, earlier introduction that you did not hear, welcome. We have a lot of talent out there. We have a lot of screenplays to get through tonight. And I just got cut off again. And uh, just... 
everybody know what a great, great group this was this year. Judges had a very difficult time. Uh, a lot of categories went back and forth. And we actually had a couple of people got, in fa- got into fights and probably not going to wow. talk to each other for a while. That's how mm-hmm. passionate they were about your stories. So kudos oh, to everybody. Awesome. And I know you're all anxious, so we're going to start the show. Good luck, everyone. And uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for your patience. Sorry we are 13 minutes late, uh, but here we go. All right. Cool, cool. Yeah, they had it at a, a restaurant last year, the film festival. Really great turnout. Got to meet a lot of filmmakers and writers from all over the world and all over the state. So, oh, man. All right. For Action Adventure, we... Cafe Ramon by Tess McClellan. Gemini Rising by Amy McCorkle and Melissa Goodwin. Vegas by Las Vegas by Catherine Thrush, Razor, Razor's Edge by Trish Danielson, Star Powered by Fred Tabasharani. Hmm. And the winner is Razor's Edge by Trish Danielson. Hey, congratulations, Trish. Adapted, Breakup by Michael Williams. Hmm. Elvis and Jesse by Gary Purpura. Modern Art by Lawrence Fuller. Hmm. Wildflowers by Corey Lee Wilson. Okay. Zulu Warrior by Michael Mays. Zulu, Zulu Warrior. I wonder if that's related to Shaka Zulu. And the winner is Zulu oh, Warrior Zulu. by Michael Mays. Hey, congratulations, Michael. Huh. Biographical, Alec Guinness, A Kind of Victory by Bill Baxter. Interesting. Deep Water by Shannon Smith. Hmm. Minster Spear by Sven Anarchy. Search for the Blood River Ruins by Michael Jack. Hmm. Variations on Love and Madness by Kenneth Koken. And the winner is Deep Water by Shannon Smith. Congratulations, Shannon. Uh, biographical, that's an interesting category. Comedy, A Brooklyn uh, Christmas by Drew Henriksen. Oh, shoot. Might Matt be. and the Garden of Eva by Harold L. Brown. Uh, maybe Henching might be Pierre. Mega Ball by Mark Barron. Huh. Mexican Jesus Mexican by Matt Pinard. Jesus. Oh, dude, that's something I Rehab would like to see. Rehab by Matt Johnson. Something you don't see every day. Road Tripping by Ricky Lee Travolta. Super Turbo Overdrive by Peter Hisai. Hmm. The Losers Club by Jonathan Turner Smith. The Losers Club. Huh. The Wonder Truth Hurts by Rika Arantru. One of that's related to anything from the Losers Club. From and the X. winners are hmm. Mega Ball by Mark Brown oh. and Matt and the Garden of Eva by Harold L. Brown. Hey, congratulations, guys. Mark and Harold, great job. Crime, At the Mercy of Faith by Samuel Taylor. Block 12 by Mary Markles. Crime. Den of the Ancients by Darwin Maddox. Gorger by Paul G. Andrews. Operation Calico by Chris Fiesti. This is some and really interesting is... titles. Den of the Ancients by Darwin Maddox. Good job, Darwin. Wow. Like I said, very ancient. Drama. Uh, interesting Crash titles. Site by John Tabalt. Crash Sight. Dead Sense by Don Famolaro and Don Wells. Oh. Fiona by Lauren Fiona. Speed. Forever Young by Jason Lohr. Oh, snap. Ah! There McCall's I am. Law by Samuel Jenkins. Oh, boy. And the winner go. is Forever Young by Yes! Jason. Yes! Ah! That's what I'm Dream talking Faced. about. Dreams of Petaluma Woo! by Jeannie Dukes. Winner, winner. Faith Restored by Gina Brewer. Oh, snap, dude. Healing by Derek Sinclair. This is I didn't remember Prayer entering as a by drama. Michael 
could have sworn I entered it as romantic, but... The Near-Death Experience huh. of Dr. Still. John Dantry by Michael Hogan. And the winner is... <laughs> the Near-Death Experience of Dr. John Dantry by Michael Hogan. Great job, Michael. Great job. For family, Lightfoot, excuse me, Littlefoot on the Loose by Karen Conley. Pink Miss by Sherry Berman. The Night at the Alamo by Amber Martinez. Wow. Valley family. of Fire by Lucius Alexander. Yeah, it's family category. That's an interesting. Way Fell Away by Rosie Ortiz. Right. And the winner is Pink Miss by Sherry Berman. Congratulations. Good job, Sherry. For Fantasy, Matthias by Ian Davies. My Yearbook by Jim Norman. My Yearbook, huh. Prince of Sarkis by Dean Stockwell. I was just going through my high school yearbook. The, the Ghost other Town day. by That's Richard Goldstein. The Ghost Town. Hmm. The Seeding, Seedling by Kevin J. Howard. Seedling? Huh. And the winner is My Yearbook ah. by Jim Norman. <laughs> Good job, Jim. What a coincidence. Like I said, I just went through my high school yearbook the other historical day. Historical period piece, Brook Farm by Alexander Wake. Well, historical period piece? Led by oh, Paul G. Andrews. Oh. Gilder Warriors by Joseph Hellick. Hmm. Jawati by Samanthi Ramakrishnan. Oh, the Resurrectionist oh. by Duncan Putney. Hmm. And the winner is... La Jawatni by Samanthi Ramakrishnan. Hmm. Good job, Samanthi. Great job. Horror, oh. Apollyon's Gold by Robert J. Rogers. Oh, sleep, maybe? Huh. Field Trip by Claudio Martinez Val. Who's Field Trip? Snarl oh. by Mark C. Spera. Oh, come on. The field Trips are supposed to be Soul fun. Soul Passage huh. by Patrick Mediate. Hmm. Voodoo Army by Maria Sundin. Oh, Voodoo Army. That sounds like a fun one. Scary, but sounds And fun. the winner is Voodoo oh, Army by yeah. Maria Sundin. Great job, Maria. Voodoo Army. That sounds like a whole different take LGBT, on the zombies genre. Cuba, the diva by Andre Gamon. Oh, LGBT. Hey, Great by Daniel Talbot. I Promise You This by Todd Sorrell. Hmm. Cool. Rehab by Matt Johnson. Oh, interesting. Truth yeah. Be Told by Stephanie Von Winkle. Huh. And the winner is Cuba, Cuba. the Diva oh. by Andre Gamon. Such a diva. Great job, Andre. Great job. Military. Oh. Battle of Plataea by Stephen McNabb. Hey, for all you guys who love writing. Bull Run by Emily Radcliffe and Mark Tabor. Yeah, like writing military or action Dawn stories. Dawn by Alberto Battista. Batatusti. Hmm. The Youngest Doughboy by Steve Sterling. Youngest Doughboy, huh? We Are the Mighty title. by Donald Jackson. Yes, we are. <laughs> and the winner is Bull Run by Emily oh, Radcliffe hey. and Mark Tabor. Good job, Emily. Good job, Mark. Congrats. For Mob, Descendants Mob. of the Dragons by Alan Sims. <sighs> Dang, okay. They got a Mob category. by Michael Madsen. Mob category right there. Tennessee Moonshine by Sergio Donatello. Hmm. The Cavaver Hearings by Alexis Green. Cavaver. The hmm. Mobster and His Angel by Amy McCorkle and Melissa Goodman. Oh, that sounds like an interesting one. The last and the one. winner is Tennessee Moonshine by Sergio hey. Donatello. Good job, Sergio. Tennessee Moonshine. Mystery. Oh, Atasha are... by Anoki Thompson. That's always fun. <laughs> Blue by Dennis Young. Hmm. Mirrors at Night by Dean Harakis. Okay. Slow Ride in the Big Easy by Denise Tessitore. The, Big the Dirty Blonde by Sven Anaki. Ah, oh, you dirty blonde, you. <laughs> and the winner is Slow Ride in the Big Easy by hmm. Denise Tessitore. Great job, Denise. Romance. Romance. A Vacation from Christmas by Duncan Putney. 
Oh. An Unfamiliar Life by Tony D'Antonio and Mitch Delmonico. Flaws of an Everlasting Memory by Ah Le. I Just Might, I Just Might by Joyce Coke. <laughs> Renaissance Man by feels, Robert Tolts. Feels like there's more to that title. I Just Might. And the winner is. Just Might What? I Might, I Just Might by Joyce <laughs> Koch. All right, Anne, I probably might have said the same thing too. Congratulations, Science Joyce. Science Fiction, Pretty Forever good. After Forever. by Emil Oh, shit, I was going to say, again? <laughs> a version by Susan Forever Stein after. and That's Fernando awesome. Perez. Q10 Dinner by Frank Mancuso. Oh. Transference by Mark C. Spera. I'm curious what that Q10 stands Zacchaeus for. Zacchaeus by Andre Gamon. We'll just have to read it or watch it if it wins. Or get and the winner made is? Into a movie. Inversion by Susie Stein and Fernando Perez. All right. All right. Good job, Susie. Good job, Fernando. Great job. Sports. Blue Chip Recruit by Jason Sports. Giles. Sports. Wow. King of the Ring by James Booker. James Booker. Long Ball by Cynthia Brown. Hmm. North Shore by Tia Tago. Huh. Warrior Spirit by Chris Tassara. Uh-uh. King of the Ring, maybe? And the winner big, is? Re- big wrestling fan. That was one of their pay-per-view North events. Shore by Tia Tago. Ah, but North Shore takes it. Great job, Tia. Congrats. Thriller. Badland by Eve McNair. Because this is Thriller. Easy Target by Andre Gamon. Thriller Night. <laughs> Star Powered by Madeline Rook and Fred Tabasharani. Hmm. The Sea Kings by John Saunders. The Sea Kings, huh? Vengeance is a Lady by Michael Williams. Ooh, that's a fierce And title. the winner is? Vengeance is a Lady. Badland but by Badland Eve McNair. Badland takes it. Good job, Eve. Congrats. Western. Desperado by Clement Carter. Desperado, Frenchie by man. Richard Spears. I wonder what that story is the about. The Wayward Son by Keith and Cassie Hayasaka. Walks hmm. the Buffalo by Larry Bear. Walks the Buffalo. How do you walk a Buffalo? War Party <laughs> by Brandon Rozier. Oh. And the winner is Desperado by Clement Carter. Yeehaw. Congrats, Clement. Western. Best overall feature screenplay, oh, Cuba so the well. Diva by Andre Gamon. Oh, hey. Made it back on there. Forever <gasps> Young by Jason Lord. Are you serious? Dude. La Jawati by Samanti Ramakrishnan. Again? Oh, okay. Tennessee Moonshine by Sergio Donatello. Zulu Warrior by Michael Mays. Dude. Hell yeah. All right. And the winner is La Jawati by Samanti uh, Ramakrishnan. Hey, hey, congrats, Samanti. Great job. Short scripts. We have 15 of Whoa, these. What? Breaking and Entering by Michael Hogan. Desert and Dash by Muse Seymour. Fight AD 4515 by Martina Lasek. Henching by Jason Lohr. Killing That's the Small right. Family Farmer by Michael Thomas. That's Last right. Thursday That's... by Kevin Machette. Okay. Mob Tour by Jason Fisher. Not a Creature Was Stirring by Michael Hogan. Padre by Ian Davies. River City by Harold L. Brown. Sleep by Jason Lohr. The hey, Collectors by there's Brian the other one. Pollock. There's the other one. The Curse nice. of the Flower by Isadora Ortega and Anisha Brewster. The Lifelong Gift by Todd Bull and Olivia Reddy. And the winner is. Oh, there we go. Uh, Not a creature was stirred uh, by Michael Hogan. Oh, hey, great job, Michael. Great job. Out of the fifteen, Existing you made TV it. Dramas, great job. Fargo by Tammy Hayes. Oh, existing dramas. Huh. Losing it by Corey Byers. Huh. Star Trek Discovery by Haruto Nakamura. Oh, interesting. Uh, the Alienist by Tali Zingman. Yeah, these are already made The Walking TV Dead, shows. No Way Out by Justin Jacobs. Huh. 
I wonder how that works. And the winner is Fargo, Fargo. by Tammy Hayes. Oh, hey, congrats, Sammy. I heard that's a really good show, too, based off of the films. Original TV drama, Backlash by Charles Honeywood. Banks of Havana by Thomas Brown. Empyrean yeah. by Colin D'Amato. Huh. Privilege by Kira Leva. Huh. The Kitchen by Sarah Meese and Ricardo Haro. I wonder of these shows. I kind of want to watch them now. And the winner is <laughs> Banks, Banks of Havana, Havana by Thomas Brown. All right. Congratulations, Thomas. Huh. I have to watch the, and check out these shows. Blackish by Eric Daniels. Okay, I've heard of that. Existing sitcom, Blackish by Eric Daniels, sorry. Mm -hmm. My Heart's a Beshola by Manny Sepulveda. Brooklyn Nine Nine oh, yeah. by Bill Harwood. Definitely not Brooklyn Nine Nine. Really funny show. Superstore too. by Terry Blair. Oh, I've heard of that show. Heard it's Always funny. Sunny in Philadelphia oh, of by course. Jordan. Of course, who Tempe. doesn't know who It's Always Sunny? And the winner that might is. Be the one. Brooklyn Nine Nine oh, Brooklyn by Nine. Bill Harwood. Nice. Congrats, Bill. Really funny show. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Original TV sitcom, And the Weeds Grow Taller by Robert Craighead. Mm. Guest teacher by Danae Brower. Mm. I Need a Sixer by Jesse Matson. A Sixer? I have to look Star that up. Starhopper by Taylor Carter. Weekend Warriors by Brian McDivitt Jr. I haven't heard of these shows either. Huh. And the winner is And the Weeds, the weeds Grow, Grow Taller, Taller by Robert A. Craighead. Oh, congrats. Yeah, never heard of these shows, but I'll have to check them out. Oh, that's it. This is great. Okay, everybody, that's it for this year's uh, Screenwriter Awards. And then uh, one thing that we did want to share with everybody is that uh, we are going to try to do, okay. we're going to try to do, because of the quality of scripts that we've got, we want to try to connect you guys with producers, directors, and, and filmmakers. Oh, shoot. Uh, so nice. many of the things I'm that we saw that. this year and that we passed along to our judges, people kept asking, why aren't these things getting made? And <sighs> that's a great question. Right. So what we're going to try to do in the, in the coming months is maybe hold a quarterly uh, forum where we can do it on this platform with through Inventive. And we're going to try to connect screenwriters with producers, directors, people that can make your films or oh, your screens, yeah. screens, make your screenplays come to life. Onto and the screen, yes. We've got the question Dude. from some very, Hell very yeah. good people who have the ability Dude. to make things like that happen. Dude. So stay tuned, Sign. watch the, uh, watch for emails, watch uh, oh, yeah, whenever you totally. can on Facebook. We'll post more information as we get going, but there's some exciting stuff coming on. People are craving content. And you guys Hells, have some yeah. great content. And we just oh, have to dude, find a different awesome. way with everything going on in the world. We have to find a different way to collaborate. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind Absolutely. of tough to network in these times. But if we can find other ways mm -hmm. and get things done, I, I think we can make it happen. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And again, our hats are off to everybody. You guys did a fantastic job. There were so many great scripts. Uh, thank congratulations. You all. Yep. Oh, thank man. you all. Enjoy your evening, everybody. Thank you. Oh, thank you guys, man. Really wonderful people, those two. Like I said, they're both filmmakers too. They understand the hardships, whether it be writing scripts or filming, editing films. Like, they know it all. So it's like, you know, that's really awesome, man. Wow. So, yeah, that was a very long video. Uh, shoot. And as you can see, there was like a whole bunch of categories. In fact, uh going to their page really quick on film freeway so oh hey so any of you guys uh filmmakers writers who are interested uh they're they're now open for 2021 so uh but yeah check out their categories man uh shoot sorry uh i don't know if i'm in the way but yeah if you look off to the side over here so many different types of genres like i said mobbed themes uh, even a musical feature uh, looks like that might be a new one. I didn't remember seeing that on the on the uh, awards video, but yeah. So like I said, uh, different genres for the scripts. Oh, they even have music videos, musical scores now, and um, 
let's see. Oh yeah, also films. Uh, yeah, shoot. There's just so many different categories. So, um, you know, they usually have, and this is the reason why they usually have to start taking in uh, a lot of. Uh, a lot of uh, either films or screenplays so that way they can get an early start of like just reading in uh, submissions because you know for me this year I just started reading scripts and helping a couple friends edit their scripts and it's very very um, you know long hours so it's not easy but you know for uh, uh, Annette and uh, Warren and their team you know they you know they work so hard to like make this festival happen even though it's online you know i could imagine like when they had the live event last year it was lots to uh do and put together so um you know definitely big props to annette and warren as well as uh, their team for making this festival happen this year despite what's going on and so also very proud of um you know i just gotta say this too real quick uh before i move on uh very proud of all you filmmakers and uh, screenwriters out there who are continuing to do what you love to do because, you know, to me, that shows not just myself, uh, not just for Annette or Warren and their team. It shows the whole world that, you know, we are going to continue doing what we love to do. And that's making films, uh, writing stories, and we're going to do it until the very end. So, um, you know, just very proud of you guys. But, um, okay, so with that out of the way, uh, yeah, so, um, they, holy they. cow, oh, sorry. sorry, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so, honestly, there's some really talented uh, writers out there. I mean, last year when I went to the festival, got to meet, quite a lot of uh filmmakers and writers out there and everybody had great ideas and i'm just thinking to myself holy cow this this is gonna be a tough one because shoot everybody is very talented in their own way but you know this year holy cow yeah i feel so proud and so you know honored you know just to be a part of the festival but to win um at the festival too it's an absolute uh major major uh happiness right now especially for this screenplay uh forever young so um this is actually a very uh one of my very important stories because it's actually uh coming from my own experience um so basically uh really quick uh, so for those of you who don't know the story forever young talk and tells the story about a man from ancient roman times who is dying of the bubonic plague and uh, as death is about to come take him away, he pleads death to let him live until he can find his true love. And so death grants him the power of immortality. And uh, so he can't die until he finds his true love. But going from ancient Roman time all the way to modern day time, he still hasn't found his true love. So that's what the whole story uh, is about is, you know, figuring out why he hasn't found his true love. What is he doing wrong? Or, you know, what does he need to do? And why did it take so long to, you know, finally find his true love? And so um, the reason why this story relates to me is because, you know, on my search to finding, you know, my own true love, you know, it really feels like, you know, it's taking forever, you know. And so therefore, uh, just going through all the years, it feels like, you know, decades to thousands of years, just like uh, the character in my story. And I think like that can relate to a lot of people as well, because I've heard stories from a lot of people who talk about how, um, you know, having to go through like many relationships to finally finding that special someone in their life. And so that's the reason why um, I had to write this story. It's a story about my journey through life to finding you know that that one true love and you know it's um yeah it's a very uh yeah it's a very uh you know interesting love story but with a little hint of a uh, a uh, little bit of uh, fantasy or magic in there so i th i'm really glad and that you know it was a uh, not just selected but also won at the film festival so um yeah definitely uh 
you know, very proud. And again, this is what also um, was very unexpected to me too, was that the fact that it showed up again for best overall feature screenplay did not win. And you know what? I'm, <laughs> I'm actually uh, okay with that because here's the thing about these festivals is that you get possibly, if not hundreds, possibly thousands of people who submit their scripts or films and not all of them make it to the finals. I mean, not a lot of them make it to the quarterfinals too. And so to make it on to uh, not just a uh, best drama screenplay, but also uh, nominated for best overall feature screenplay. That's absolutely, you know, a big, you know, a big, uh, a big moment for me too, because it's like, dude, I don't know. It's like, just, I can't even, I am just speechless right now. Just so very happy that it's getting recognized. And, you know, it's a story that I've written like about a year ago. So to see it just progress and like just exploring, you know, you know, itself or just uh, putting itself out there and finally getting um, noticed. That's like, you know, very um, it's that makes me very happy. So, um, OK. Uh, what? Oh, sorry. Uh. Yeah, this is, again, very long video. Lots of categories, so it's having to um, scroll through until you find your your spot. Okay, so you got sleep and... Uh, uh, sorry. Sleep and henching. So, okay, so apparently they were in the short uh, scripts category. I thought they were going to be in the horror and the uh, comedy categories, but apparently uh, they have their short scripts category. But anyways, again, you know... <sighs> There's 15 on the list for the uh, short screenplays. And, you know, again, possibly hundreds or thousands of people who submit their work into the festival. And, you know, you come to the top 15 uh, selected short scripts for the festival. So that to me is still a big accomplishment. And definitely, you know, and this is why I tell everybody who's just starting out not only in uh, film uh, filmmaking or script writing, it's like even though you've only been selected and you didn't win, it's always good to put it out there that, hey, you know, I've been selected to this festival. And, you know, a lot of people out there, whether it be producers, directors, and other writers, they know that, you know, that's uh, already a big accomplishment too because, you know, to make it that far, you know, that's telling the uh, festival directors and the judges at the festivals that, you know, you got, you're on to something, you know, your idea is definitely worth checking out. And if that being the case, then, you know, producers and the film industries, they might actually give your, your, a script, a read and, you know, a film, you know, your film, a look, you know, and take a look at your film. I mean, so uh, definitely keep that in mind. So, um, yeah, again, with sleep and henching, you know, just to get selected and be a part of this film festival is already an honor. So definitely a um, uh, big applause to those who got selected and also uh, those who've won. And then also for those who, you know, didn't get selected, you know, just just know that, you know, I've been through there too. I've had my fair share of like either rejections or not selected at festivals. It's like, hey, don't give up on what you love to do. I, you know, I'm not going to give up. Uh, this is what I love to do. And I known it ever since I was a little kid when I started writing in journals and wanting to tell stories and see them coming to life on the big screen. And speaking of coming to life on the big screen, you know, it's uh, it's so wonderful hearing both uh, Annette and Warren, you know, really congratulating those who were able to make it this far, and you know, trying to help us connect with, uh, you know, with you know people in, who makes films and just you know talk about possibly collaborating and you know making our you know scripts into movies and. You know, like I said, when I was uh, when I started this journey into uh, script writing is like I not only want to tell a story, but, you know, I want to see 
my stories come to life. I don't want my, I don't, I don't just want people to read my stories. I want to them to see my characters and my worlds come to life in the big screen. And so, um, yeah, if all goes well, you know, we might actually see Forever Young get turned into a movie finally. I mean, you know, it's taken like a year. There's some films that took years to make, but, you know, like I said, with patience and time and also just showing how much you truly love, you know, uh, doing what you do. Like for me, I love writing. It's something I'm always going to keep doing. And, you know, to finally see it come to life, that's going to be a real dream come uh, a, a real dream come true to me. So again, you know, just big thanks to Annette and, you know, Warren and their team for, you know, just creating this platform for all of us, you know, filmmakers and writers out there who truly, you know, truly love our craft and really uh, want the world to see what we can do. And so again, just a huge thanks to, you know, Annette and Warren. Oh, I know people are probably thinking like, shoot, you thank them so much. It's like, dude, believe me, trust me. As, you know, a filmmaker, shoot, it's taken so much time to finally, you know, get my work out there and be recognized. And again, that's the one thing too that I love about their festival. And I just got to say this is the fact that they don't just announce the winner they actually, they announce all the nominees. So now they know that, you know, these are the guys that made it this far. You know, your name's going to be heard. Whether you win or don't win, you're going to be heard. And the people that are watching, like I said, it's like, these are some interesting titles. It's like, and I'm curious to, you know, know why it's named this way. You know, and so I'm pretty sure producers are like that, too. They're curious and they want to read more. But it's like, yeah, again, the fact that Annette and Warren, they announce like or yeah, they announce all the nominees and then the winner. That's really, uh, you know, showing, um, yeah, just uh, well, yeah, showing and also um, just giving that recognition to all those who participated in the film festival this year. So again, that's a, you know, that's a really great thing that they do. And so, all right. Um, well, gosh, how many minutes we're at now? Oh, 37 minutes. Yeah. So this is probably the longest video I've ever done, but again, this is a very long, uh, you know, awards video too. So for those of you guys who are still watching, definitely, uh, thank you for sticking with me for so long. Uh, man, listening to <laughs> it was like my uh, speech and just my thoughts on the festival and you know the outcome so um yeah so just uh, to conclude again special thanks to uh annette and warren for uh and their team for making this film festival happen this year and also again very proud of all you filmmakers and screenwriters that are you know, continuing to do what you do, you know, all you guys, everybody, it's like, you know, again, we're living in a really tough time this year with everything that's been going on, but we still do what we do because, you know, that's what we love to do and we're going to keep doing it. So, all right. So uh, that's going to be it for this, uh, uh, you know, this video. Uh, if you guys want to check out more of my work, you can find me on uh, YouTube, IMDB, Facebook, LinkedIn, and uh, Instagram. And then uh, also for, uh, you know, Annette and Warren, again, uh, the, yeah, the festival for next year, submissions for a festival next year is already open. So for those of you guys who have something within these never ending lists of categories, you know, definitely, definitely hit them up. So, um, yeah, I'll leave that there for you. And I'll also link a description, uh, put in a link in the description below as well. So yeah, if you guys have any questions too, uh, leave a comment and, you know, check me out on Facebook and Instagram and, you know, all the other uh, social media. So, uh, 
yeah, until then, uh, this is Jason Lore with Jason Lore Photography and Films, bringing you art stories and entertainment.